Are you looking for the ultimate protection for your firearms? Amsoil Firearm Lubricant and Firearm Cleaner provide the most protection. In the ASTM salt fog test, Amsoil showed no corrosion on the test results. All right, guys, so this is the Arminus, Arminius, uh, I guess is how you say it. Um, and it's a pretty cheap gun. This is the, the Titan Tiger, which is the 38 Special. These were imported by FIE uh, Corporation uh, out of Miami. And I say imported, there's no German marks on here, but the, the original company, uh, which I think is Weirich or something like that, and I, I'm not sure that I'm saying any of this correctly, um, but the German company they, that made these is out of West Germany, and West German guns are usually pretty good, whether they're SIGs or anything else. Um, these are, you know, pretty heavy built guns. I mean, it's got a good weight to it. Uh, the parts here that you can see that are blue, those are all steel. The frame, I think, is some type of alloy because it's not magnetized. Uh, it's, it's almost like a Parkerized finish on there. It's a little different, but. Uh, it's got pretty nice grips and it's wood like plastic, but they're not in bad condition, which is good. Um, and the trigger on here is not bad at all. The single action here and everything is, I'll show you, everything's uh, empty right here. So the trigger on here in single action is very, very close. I mean, there's nothing to it at all. It's very lightweight. Double action though is very heavy. So you know when you're pulling the double action for sure, but the single action is, is really, really nice on this thing. It's got a really nice crisp and clean trigger. And a lot of this from what I've looked up is the people that have never owned one, compare them to the Rome or the, the Romo, the RG guns. And I've had a few of those too. And those are pretty pretty cheap guns. I had some of the 22 shorts are like this big. I, I really enjoyed them, but they're a pretty cheap gun. The safest place to be when shooting one of those is usually in front of the muzzle. Uh, so, um, but these, you really don't hear much bad, bad things about them. Um, you know, you, you get some broken pieces, springs like that every once in a while, which is pretty normal for any gun, but I haven't seen any where the frames have came apart or anything like that. Um, but there's a lot of people that haven't owned one that usually say these are cheap and, you know, terrible guns. And then all the people that I've found that have owned one on, online, obviously, um, also, they were great guns and they, they worked well and they were dependable and everything like that. So um, I saw this one, got a good deal in it. And uh, the price on these has gone up pretty significantly from what these were new. Um, brand new back in the 70s, you could get these things for like $50 a piece. Now they're close to $250, $300 for uh, you know, a pretty nice one. This one, I got a little bit cheaper than that. So, um, But I got it just to be what it is, I, I think consider taking it apart and uh re -bluing it and you know doing that but it's really not too bad of condition just to to have an old six shooter there um everything works good the the cylinder spins well it uh seems to be fine and uh everything in here is all you know nice and clean there's a couple marks in there which gonna it's been slammed shut probably which you don't want to do you don't want to slam that in there real hard because it has to make everything mesh so you really don't want to do that um but overall it seems like a pretty good gun so i'm i'm curious to see how it does uh and, you know and i i think it's going to be pretty good so so let's try it and we'll load it up here put some rounds in it this is just uh federal soft nose rounds i've had these for a long time actually but these are just 38 special uh, I've seen where people have asked to run plus P's in this. I don't know that you'd want to run plus P's in it. Um, really not much of a reason to just run some old 38 special through it and be good. I've got some plus P's here. These are Hornady uh, with the ballistics tip, you know, but probably not something you want to run in here. Um, it's a full metal jacket round. 
you know, you could run something like that in there. That'd be fine. But got uh, another target uh, out here, just like the smaller one that we had. This is uh, this is the bigger one for 38 Special up to 44 Magnum. So should be pretty fun. We'll see if we can make this thing spin with this thing right here. So we'll run some rounds to it now. Try a single action here. That it? That might be it. Someone's not counting. Six. Taking a little bit there. Yeah, that one's definitely sticking. That one is not. Not wanting to come out of there. Projector is not sticking it on out. Well, I guess we'll just push that one in for now. I have to get it out later. It did fire them all, so that's good. We'll run a couple more through here. Maybe to clean up the inside of the cylinder there. I also didn't oil this thing. I just, just got it in and just wanted to try it. So stick it up here on that one. All right, so now I'm gonna do double action. Uh, I'm sure it's more accurate than I am, but uh, it uh, doesn't do, wasn't doing perfect there. And I, and I, let me do double action on here. Let's see if it'll be a lot harder to do it, but we'll try it. Other one still wants to stay stuck. So I'm definitely not any good with double action. All right, guys, that is the Arminius there, and it uh, did pretty good. That uh, one shell did get a little stuck in there, and and I pulled it out. Got uh, got a screwdriver and just knocked it out of there. It was in there pretty tight, so I'm going to have to cl clean up that one uh, uh, chamber there and just make sure it's good to go. Um, but besides that, I mean, it, it still fired it. You know, if you had to have it on your on your side, all six shots would fire. May not be able to reload as quick, <laughs> but uh, I'm not very fast at reloading these anyways. So, but uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you liked it. It's kind of cool. I like it. It's definitely one I'm gonna be hanging on to. It's a lot of fun to shoot.